Mexican or what that he suggested? He for- suggested a second and a fourth, which would be the mm. which would be the sixtieth and the hundred and twenty fifth overall pick. Mm. So that would be a steal, in my opinion, for Stefan Diggs. But your season at that point to make that trade for picks would have really had to gone south. Correct. And if if you're Rick Spielman and your season's gone south and you are and you have one which I would call meaningless year left on your contract, are you making that big a trade for the future when the future of the Vikings franchise, Danny Cunningham, might not include you? I don't think you can make a trade for the future if you're these guys. No. I think if you make a trade that involves Stefan Diggs or anyone else, it has to be a deal that's going to make you better in the present. It has to be a deal that's going to get you closer to winning a Super Bowl. Because if you're not closer to winning a Super Bowl, you're gone. Yeah. It's the fact of the matter with this organization. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you are the only the only way. So one is we have no idea if Diggs is now happy enough if and and yes being fined in excess of two hundred thousand dollars to judd zolgad danny cunningham or declan goff seems like a lot of money to lose yeah if you're an athlete you're not happy about it but keep in mind you're making millions okay and you decided to disappear you're the one who consciously decided as a protest for how your offense was operating you're going to disappear the point being is what we don't know is your question, which is, is this repairable? And was Diggs trying to make a statement of we need to throw the ball more? Or was Diggs trying to say, this is a bunch of garbage. I want out. I want to go home. And and I will say, keep in mind, this is a guy who skipped some OTAs, which in this day and age is very rare, is rare. Uh, this is a guy whose brother tweeted out on Instagram a picture of him in a Washington Redskins jersey, I believe, or helmet or something. And he's from Maryland. So the point being is that there is precedent here for that has showed us Diggs might not be completely happy here, but we don't know if this was a protest of some sort short term or if this is a guy who legitimately has lost a desire to play for the Vikings. Do you want another hypothetical trade? This one from uh, Bill Barnwell of ESPN that he put out today. I love Uh, hypothetical trades. Ten hypothetical trades for guys that might be unhappy. Ten of them? Well, not 10 for Diggs, no, but 10 across the league. Oh, it is a great oh, article I on ESPN.com. This is, I'm surprised this came out on a Monday. This is like perfect Wednesday material. Yeah, bring this on. So the Vikings would trade Stephon Diggs to the Oakland Raiders because, you know, they are looking for a wide receiver since, where Randy they, Moss don't, went. since they don't have Amari Cooper anymore. That's where Randy Moss went. Oakland would receive Stephon Diggs in a sixth round draft pick from the Miami Dolphins. Three team deal. Yeah, <laughs> getting crazy. How much? How late was Bill Barnwell up this night? The Miami Dolphins would receive a fourth round pick from the Minnesota Vikings All right. and a fourth round pick from the Oakland Raiders. Okay. The Minnesota Vikings would receive Devontae Parker, wide receiver, somewhat talented wide receiver from the Miami Dolphins, and a first round pick from the Oakland Raiders, soon to be Las Vegas Raiders. So you're getting a wide receiver and a first round pick forced to find digs. And you're also giving up a fourth round pick. And it's coming from Oakland? It is the it's lesser. Oakland's 2020 first round pick? The lesser of their two picks because I believe they have two first round picks coming up. So oh, the okay. lesser of the two first right. round picks. So this is not probably their, it's not their first round pick then. It depends. I forget who their other one is. Okay. All right. Of, of those two. Tra- the, the other one's the Bears. They have a Bears pick. Of those two trades, the, the uh, Patriots trade that Peter King threw out there, the Declan read or the one from Bill Barnwell that you just read. Which intrigues you more? The Bill Barnwell one, for sure. Get the first round pick. Because, I mean, you're getting a first round pick. If you're getting that second round pick from the Patriots, you've got to imagine it's going to be 55 or later. Like, that's not a good second round pick. It's basically a third round pick because the Patriots are going to be a playoff team again. They're going to be a team that's competing for a Super Bowl. Now, the Bears very well could be that, too. They could be a playoff team. But that pick's going to be no worse than 32. And I don't even think it'll be that late. But it's way better than the pick the Patriots would give you, and you're getting an NFL-ready player right now, do that. That's worth it. I don't think there's any way deep down, at least um, before 2020, 
that they trade Diggs. Do you? No. I don't think there's any way. No, I think, I think he he's needs- on the team this, the rest of the season. Now, I'm, not, I'm not saying that that trade's worth it to do right now. I'm saying yeah. that that trade, I think, is better than the one that was suggested by Peter King, where you get a two and a four. And can you imagine the outcry if that guy went to the Patriots? If the Patriots did it again, if the Patriots eight were eight able to get a guy that, n- no matter what we think of him right now, is a top-flight wide receiver from you. And I have long said this. After the the um, Cordell, Cordero Patterson draft pick trade, if I am the Vikings, if I see the the area code for Foxborough, and it's uh, Bill Belichick calling me, I am hanging up, boys. I am telling them, don't even Rick, don't even pick up the phone. I don't even want you picking up the phone at this point. You're not to talk to the Patriots. You're not to deal with the Patriots because Belichick ultimately always wins. If and I, so I'm not trading you. There is no way that I'm going to give Tom Brady. I don't even care. You're not in my conference. I'm not giving Tom Brady, Stefan Diggs, so I can get second, fourth round draft picks. That might work out. And I don't even know who's going to make those picks. If I were a general manager in the NFL, my first rule would be never answer a Foxborough area code ever. Yeah. I don't care what the, I don't care what it is. When's the I last am time, not talking. To when's them. the last time that you really feel that the Patriots got fleeced? Where the Patriots, where you said that was. You know, that was a great, that was a great deal for Team X with Belichick. I can't come up with one off the top of my head. Neither can I. Not even close. And every time that the Patriots call the Vikings or I don't know, maybe the Vikings call the Patriots. Okay, here, here's the only one. And it's if you're a believer in Jimmy Garoppolo, it's that one. And I, and I think that was done. I'm not a believer. But if you're a believer in Garoppolo, that's the only trade you can point at. How, how about the Colts getting Jacoby Brissett from? What did, what did they give up for? I don't even remember. I don't remember point. what they gave the up. The Garoppolo for. trade, though, keep in mind, I've always read the Garoppolo trade was as much Belichick out of spite. Yeah. Because he lost the uh, the Brady Power struggle, struggle, which went through Robert Kraft, who owns that team. And yeah. Belichick basically called his his guy in San Francisco and said, you want him? You can have him. I'm ticked off. Yeah, but that's that's the only trade I can think of that. And I'm not even a Jimmy Garoppolo believer. I don't think he's going to be all that good. But if you are, that's where you can point to. Just out, out of curiosity, does Barnwell have a, a potential Jalen Ramsey trade on that? Uh, top oh, 10? does he ever? See, I want to know. Oh, Jaylen yeah, Ramsey he's going? got. I believe he's got three Jalen Ramsey who, trades. Who, who I believe is going to say his back hurts until Jacksonville finally. Gives it and trades. I I believe that there are quite a few different Jalen Ramsey. I mean, Jalen Ramsey is the headline guy here. Okay, let's see. We're talking. Okay, the first one. I, I'm just curious if the Vikings are even sniffing around this one. The uh, the Kansas City Chiefs send a 2020 first round pick, a 2021 first round pick, and a 2021 fourth round pick to the Jaguars for Ramsey and a 2021 second round pick. If I'm Kansas City, I do that trade because I need help on defense and I got a good team. So that's two first round picks and a fourth round pick. All right. If you're scoring at home for Jalen Ramsey. The next trade. Do you do that trade? I do. If you're the Chiefs? Yes. I think that makes you the absolute favorite to win the Super Bowl. Yep. The next trade. Mm -hmm. The Baltimore Ravens send a 2020 first round pick, a 2020 fourth round pick, and a 2022 first round pick to the Jaguars for Ramsey in a 2022 four. Say that again slower, please. Sorry. No, no, no. It's, I'm just trying to digest it. A 2020 first round pick. 2020 for, okay. A 2020 fourth round pick. Okay, two. A 2022 first round pick. Ooh, we're now, so we're now two first round picks. Two first round picks and a four going from Baltimore to Jacksonville yep. for Ramsey and a fourth round pick in 2022. How good is Baltimore's defense right now? Awful. So it's very tempting. Two first round picks is a lot, but that is an immediate big time upgrade. I don't think that it makes them all that much of a contender, though, because their defense is really, really bad right now. Yeah. And I don't think I'm not a believer in their quarterback. I don't know yet on him. I can't tell. on him. I after watching I just him, need to see more I mean, that. they but are, you know what? That's they're, they're being touted as a Super Bowl that, contender. You're right. And their wins so far this year, they're three and two. Yep. Their wins have come against opponents with a combined record of two twelve and one. Okay, so okay, p- trade one Chiefs. I do trade two Baltimore. You convince me. I don't do that one. Okay, all right. Last one. I think the last one. Right? Yeah, last one. So there's no Vikings here. here. I I didn't get to the last one yet. Okay, come on, Bill. The trade. 
the Los Angeles Rams ah! <laughs> send a 2020 first round pick, yep. a 2021 second round pick, All right. a 2022 second round pick. That one's conditional. Okay. And Marcus Peters to the Jaguars for Ramsey in a 2022 fourth. 